As far as organization goes and collections, we have looked at quick collections, and that's kind of a down and dirty way to get to images, even if they exist across multiple folders in your catalog, and work with them on a temporary basis and then discard them. Quick collection. We have looked at a backbone of organization, and that's called smart collections. Right here. Oh, I love those things. We can set rules up. Show me everything across 100,000 images that's red or five stars or whatever you want them to be, and they update automatically. The third set of collections is just simply called a collection, but I'll define it more precisely in a sense in calling it a manual collection. So let's start by clicking the plus sign here and going down to create a collection set. Now this is a set, Smart Collections. The collections are inside that folder. Now I'm going to do that too for organization. So I'll say Create Collection Set, and let's call it Manual Collections. I don't want it inside that's nesting a set. I want it right out here, and there it is. Now there's nothing in it yet. Let's go back to Catalog 1. I want a manual collection set of people. It has nothing to do with maybe a keyword being people or the color being purple. Whatever it is, they're going to be in there. So I'm going to select this one. I'll hold the Command key, Control key in Windows, and do some non-contiguous selection here of people. She's people too. Over there, this one, this one, and actually this one. I think I got everybody. Now, with those selected, go back to Collections, click here, and say Create a Collection. Now, let's call it People. I want it inside a collection set, Manual Collections. We got two. I want it in this one. I want to include selected photos, yes. I don't want to make virtual copies, but I do want to make this, this is a new feature, Target Collection. And then click Create. Now let's leave that alone. We'll talk about Target in a minute, what it means. Let's come back up to Key West. Let's go into a couple of the photos, like this one has clouds in it, and this one has clouds in it down here in this one. So I want a manual collection of images that contain kind of cool clouds. So let's go ahead and select them. This one, hold the Control key, Command key on Mac, Control Windows, and this one, and we'll do this one too down here. Those three. Let's do another one. Let's come up here. Create a collection. Clouds. Inside a collection set. Manual collections. This time, no virtuals and no target. Click Create. So we got clouds, and we have people right here. So what is a target collection? I mean, because I got a little plus sign right down here. What does that mean? Well, if you remember when we did a quick collection, basically what happened is we pressed the letter B on our keyboard, or we went up to the word photo and said, put this image in the quick collection. Watch this. If I go back to the word photo now, it doesn't say put it into the quick collection. It says either remove it or add it to the target collection. So you're changing where your quick collection is in a sense. It's up to you. If I come back in here to Key West, we do have people in this one. Here's one right here. It's got people in it. Press the letter B on your keyboard. And now we got 10 in there. This guy's people too here. Now we can just click the button if you want to. And there's 11. So a target collection is one that kind of supersedes the quick collection because as you can see up here, that's at zero. We're changing what the button does and sending them manually into a target collection. It doesn't matter what's on the image. It doesn't matter the keywords. It doesn't matter the color, the ratings, the flag. Anything can go in there. And if I change things, like changing the stuff, it's still going to be in there. Smart collections, on the other hand, are based on rules. Colored red. If I change an image from red to green, it goes out automatically. Quick collections, targeted collections, manual collections, and smart collections. All different ways to take the confusion of a huge database of images in your catalog and break them down into manageable bits.